Hello guys, welcome in the uh, Mantis installation guide video. So if you see this video, you're probably already aware of the capabilities of Mantis, or at least you you aware of the bug tracking feature it can provide to you. So uh, let me show you how to install it because that, that can be a little bit tricky sometimes. But on the other hand, if you know how to do it, it's pretty easy. So this video is going to guide you through how to do that. So uh, if you want to install Mantis to your local network or maybe to your just PC only or maybe to a company environment, two main packages uh, which you have to download. One of them is obviously Mantis, uh, which is very easy to download if you just go to uh, www.mantisbt.org and then uh, click to the latest stable version link and then click to download Mantis BD. Now actually the latest revision is 1.2.3. That's that's what I will download. So it will it will redirect you to a downloader page and just uh, hit the big green button download now and it's gonna download. It's pretty small, it's like four megabytes only. Uh, I won't do the download now because I've already downloaded it to the desktop. This is a zip file. Alright. So whenever you're done with this, uh, comes the tricky part. So to make it accessible on a local network or on the network globally, you you need uh, an Apache server, which is an HTTP server. You need MySQL and you need uh, you need PHP on your computer. Now all those things sounds very geeky, uh, at least for me. But uh, but the good thing is you can download all of these in one package. Now, what I use is called XAMPP, which installs all these things for you. There is another another one called VAMP, uh, which is probably as good as the XAMPP, and probably there are uh, a lot of these packages around the internet, but I use XAMPP. So, if you just Google XAMPP, XAMPP, then the first thing going to be the Apache Friends homepage. And then you click XAMPP for your operating system. I use Windows, so click the Windows one and then download XAMPP and just uh, download the self extracting archive, which is roughly 51 megabytes. Uh, I've already downloaded it, so it is on my desktop. But if you click the EXE, it will uh, redirect you to a downloader page again. <laughs> so just hit save and you will get the file. So at this time you pretty much downloaded whatever we need to install XAM and uh, Mantis. So let's just let's just start the XAM. Alright. Uh, it asks you where you wanna install it. Normally you wanna install it somewhere not on the C drive because C normally is your system partition. So I prefer E. Uh, hit install and it will extract all the files uh, to the E drive. If I open an Explorer window, you will see that uh, an XAMPP folder already created on the E drive, and now all these files are being copied there. This process probably takes uh, a minute or so, so it's it's kind of fast compared to uh, the features getting installed. <coughs> Uh, as you see, I have the Mantis BT zip archive on my uh, desktop, and I already unzipped it because unzipping takes probably like four or five minutes, so this just saves some time on the video. But whenever the XAMPP is installed, <coughs> I recommend to just unzip the Mantis BT folder and copy it to, to the proper location, but I will show you a little bit later on when the XAMPP is getting installed. Alright, we are almost there. Alright, 99% and and it's done. <clears throat> now, at this point, it will ask you uh, some questions. Uh, should you, should I add shortcuts to the start menu desktop? Yeah, why not? 
<clears throat> should I locate extant paths correctly? I'm not, I'm not even sure what does this really means. Obviously, I want to want the extant paths located correctly. So press yes. Uh, uh, normally, I just use the default uh, answers. Okay, and. Set the time, and now this is the last question. What you need, uh, we just need to start the XM control panel, panel, which is number one, and then you can exit from this window by pressing next and enter. All right. So this is the so-called XM control panel, where you can start Apache and you can start MySQL. It also you can also start FileZilla, which I assume it's some kind of FTP thing and Mercury which as far as I know it's a kind of SMTP service but we won't use this now so just hit start for the Apache it says running hit start for MySQL it says running so to see if everything is alright what you can do is to just type HTTP uh, column backslash backslash localhost local localhost if everything's alright, you will see this page where you can select your language, which is English in this case. You will be uh, guided to this page. And if you click to PHP My Admin, if you see something like this, then you are fine. Exemp is installed properly, uh, so you are in a good condition, good shape. Now, uh, if you go to the Exemp folder and you go to the HT Docs. Well, that's the place where the, your Mantis BT folder should be located, okay? So, after you unzip uh, the Mantis BT zip file, just copy the content to the exam backslash htdocs folder, alright? <clears throat> okay, 15 seconds, 10 seconds, it copies everything there. After it copied, I recommend to to rename the folder. So like mentisbt sla uh, slash one point two point three. It's like looks a little bit weird. So let's it, let's call it simply mentis. And now, if you go to HTTP localhost sl slash mentis or whatever is your folder name, you will see this page. All right, you will see. When you when you use Mantis, you you will see this page only once when you install Mantis. Now I'm not gonna go through all of these options uh, because in this video I just give you a very quick overview how to install and the default options are completely fine for this purpose. But obviously, if you go deeper in Mantis, uh, you probably will modify one of these. So let's say you don't want to use MySQL, you want to use I know uh, Microsoft SQL. You can do that. It's not really recommended. MySQL is your option, but uh, there are some options here which you can set. But let's just press install slash upgrade database. Uh, now it starts to think a bit and it comes with this page. Uh, you see everything is green except this thing. These things, uh, they are referring to blank password problems, but it's alright at this stage. Uh, if you scroll down, everything is green, which we really like, and then just click to the link. Please log in as the administrator and create your first project. So let's just click there and see. Now, Mantis is running on my local PC. If I want to log in, administrator, administrator, and the default password is root. Lowercase. Log in, and as you see, you're already in, in the system, logged in as administrator. So, I think pretty much that's it. Uh, the video is about the installation, and we are done with this. Uh, I probably made some mistakes in the video, so feel free to correct me in the comments. If you have any questions uh, about the installation, please use the official Mantis uh, forums, which can be found at www.mantispd.org/forums.
and there is the help top the help topic what you really need to use if you want to get help right so thanks for watching let me know if you have any questions and see you in the next video bye